guys, today we're going to be continuing Disney's Heroes Battle Mode. So we're going to start off today in the market and we've got some Maui chips that we can purchase. So I'm definitely doing that because I have been working on Maui a little bit for some of the friend chips and stuff. So yeah, that is actually pretty good that he is in the market. Useful for me anyways. All right, so I'm going to purchase some of these badges here that can be useful. Well, only the ones that are going to be useful to me, otherwise I won't buy them. Uh, otherwise, I think that is it, I guess, in the market for now. So let's go ahead and raid the warehouse. So we got some credits there, which we can sell in the market for more gold, which means we can purchase more things. And I'll raid the trials. That'll help me out with the heroes here. So let's take a look sort of at my heroes right now. Um, that are part of the dream team and see what we can sort of do with them. Now, Buzz Lightyear, there's nothing really I can do at the moment. He's maxed out on stars, which is great. And I need to be a higher sort of team level myself in order to uh, sort of go ahead and collect more of these like orange badges, which will help us get him to an orange. So next here, we've got Stitch. Actually, Stitch could use a little bit of work. Uh, maybe not so much in the chip department right now because, well, I don't have enough for him, but I have enough badges there. Eve, same thing. Jessie, oh, I still need more stars for her, so more chips, but hers are a bit more challenging to get. Ralph, uh, Ralph actually, his chip situation isn't great. Hmm. All right, let's check out Zerg. Zerg isn't on the dream team just yet, but we are working on him, sort of getting him a little bit higher and stuff like that. Miguel, how is he doing? Oh, he's ready to go. Why don't we do Miguel today? All right, because we've actually got some hero power-ups for him at the moment. So why don't we go ahead and evolve him? 300,000. Well, there goes all the gold. <laughs> Not super great, but that is good though that he is now a four star, so that's good. Now we'll go ahead and promote Miguel. And now he is a purple two. So we still have a little ways to get him to an orange, but that's all right. Uh, let's craft some items here. Ooh, okay, this one, Mask of the Cake Eater. <laughs> All right, well, that one we won't be able to put on him just yet. And his level, well, we need to do a little bit of work for that. I won't give him too, too much, but yeah, he's a 71 now, so that's good. All right, now his skills will do a little bit with that. I don't have a lot of gold to, to do too much, but I at least need to power up a hero three times so I can claim my reward for practice makes perfect. So that gives me some gold back. All right, so I guess Miguel will test him out in battle today once I do a few of my guild things here. Ooh, I've got 16 war boxes right now to open. Oh my goodness. I kind of am tempted to open one. You know what? I am going to open one. I usually save these for live streams, but whoa, this is tricky. Oh, now I really wish I had waited. 16 Gaston chips or 880 gold or the magic mirror bit. Okay, I'm going to say that's not that useful because it's only... For one of the heroes that I actually don't have. So that's that's a tough one. Gaston chips or the gold? I'm gonna go with the chips there. Um, ooh, okay, one more. <laughs> this is so good. This is gold, so I'm taking the gold on that one. All right, so we'll leave it at that. So there's still 14, but I honestly, I really needed the gold so I can do some more stuff. Even if not too much more in this video, I'll just save it for, <laughs> for uh, when I actually need to do more work with the other heroes. All right, let's open the diamond crate, and Meg is still the exclusive hero in there, so let's see if we can get any chips for her. 
no, but we did get a Turbo XP drink, which is great. Very useful. Um, contest rank. Ooh, we got actually some crates. Awesome. And then now just to claim a bunch of other things there. You know what? Since we do, why don't we go ahead and open a few of these? All right, so we just got some badges and some XP drinks on that one. Ooh, three genie chips. Gosh, I haven't done anything with genie in a long time. Two Hades chips. And two of the Mad Hatter chips. Wow, oh, and it looks like he's ready to go as well. All right, so that actually wasn't half bad. I guess I've got some crates there in storage that I should be opening soon. A lot more of them. All right, so in the daily sign-in here, we've got still Jack Skellington that we are collecting chips for. So that has been going pretty well so far. Um, I've managed to get eight chips, so I definitely will be doing some more work with him in the very near future. All right, missions. Let's go ahead here and collect everything. Wow, Maui and Stitch are becoming very close friends. Look at that. Okay, so now let's go into the campaign here. And actually, I wanted to... I haven't done anything with this in a long, long time. But I did want to do a little bit of sort of battling here with my main campaign storyline. Um, again, I think I need to sort of continue with that for sure. So I can't raid these, but that's okay. We can start trying to battle with Miguel today and see how he does. So this is called Gift Street. Frozone gets concerned. Maybe he isn't remembering the market correctly. All right, uh, what should we do here? I guess we can take off Zerg. The Zerg is super useful. Ooh, that's a tough one. All right, we'll take off Zerg for this round and we'll see if it's possible. Now, if we get too many resisting creeps, then we might need to put Zerg back on. Oh, there's a resisting creep. Certain heroes really don't do very much to him, so... Yay, we did it! I think that was Eve that was doing all that hard work there. Stall Road. There seem to be a lot more food stalls than Elastigirl remembers. Well, there was a time, guys, where literally I could not continue with this campaign anymore because I literally was just not strong enough. So the fact that this is going pretty well makes me very happy. It means that I've gotten better. Victory! Now on to the next one. Oh, Dali. Frozone can't find the clone vendor anywhere in the market. Why does he need it? Mega Mart has been found. All right, let's visit it. Ooh, Maleficent chips. Definitely. Uh, I think everything else. Ooh, this is a tough one. I kind of want to purchase this. Yeah, let's do it. I don't really have enough diamonds to do much else, so I'll just sort of have to leave it. All right. Trader Lane, fed up. Vanellope vents her frustration on a nearby mage.
Miguel is proving to be very useful. I am pretty happy with him. Never know, he might be dream team material soon. Victory! Oh, Vanellope. Face it, people. There are no computers around here. This is ridiculous. The last time I was here, there were at least three electronic stalls. It's more than that. All the computers are gone, even the ones for exchanging credits. I'm starting to think there's some kind of evil genius like King Candy behind this. Yeah! Who else could manipulate the world like this? King Candy? Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be a character to have in this game? <gasps> that would be so cool. They should totally add him. Oh my gosh, now I really, really want him in here. But maybe he's like the main villain of the game? We still don't actually know. Because since we have villains now, like, on our teams, like, I just don't really know who's classified in this game as, like, the big villain. <laughs> Victory! Merchant Street. Elastic Girl gets an idea of where to find a computer. There may not be any computers here, but there's another place where we've seen a lot of them. That's right. The hackerspace. Oh, and that place is really well hidden, too. Exchange Lane. The team heads towards the nearest subway station. We'll do a few more here. Coffee Cart Road. An overturned coffee cart blocks the path and creeps jump right over it. <laughs> These levels are not very difficult for me anymore. <laughs> I may be eating my words soon, but for now, it looks like we're in good hands here. Victory! Vendor Drive. The heroes continue to make their way toward Market Station. We're getting close here. Um, I think we'll do one more. Covered lane. Up ahead, an army of creeps is gathering near the subway entrance.
victory. All right, awesome. So basically with the remaining energy I have, or stamina, I guess, we're just gonna go ahead here and try and get some chips for certain heroes or villains, I guess, in this case. I have been working on Zerg, so I definitely would like to kind of continue with, with him soon. Uh, Zerg, all right. Ooh, we got two chips out of that one. Black market found. Ooh, okay. Mike Wazowski and Sully. Two Monsters, Inc. characters there. All right. And I think we'll... I really need this badge here, though. Oh, I definitely don't have enough diamonds for that, but I really, really want it. Okay, so who else should I use them for? Maybe Calhoun or Miguel. Uh, I guess since we're working on Miguel today, we'll do him. Wow, we got two there. Sweet. Um, and I guess we'll use the last few on Calhoun. Which we didn't get any chips, but that's okay. No big deal. So we'll claim what we can here. And take a look now. So Miguel isn't on the dream team, but he is definitely getting very close. Um, I think with a few more stars, I think it is definitely possible. So we'll have to keep working on him. Now, I obviously will need some more badges and stuff like that, but he has definitely been a big asset to my team for sure. When I do use him, he's a great healer. So that is everything that I'm going to be doing for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big hero thumbs up. And we will see you guys for the next Disney Heroes Battle Modes game video. Bye!